Hey, yo, peace to my people, man. I hope y'all can hear me. I'm finna just leave that phone right there. So look, I'm bringing y'all a message today that I've come to a conclusion to over the past couple days. I have a letter here written out to my friend that I'm going to personally deliver later. And um, I've been writing a lot in this book, you see. I'm talking about... Mm, you see, like... Just been writing a lot. Filling in these pages. This college rules book. Not that it matters, but as you can see, hella lines. Just filled it up. Never been a big fan of my handwriting, but it's beautiful that I can sit here and this is how I communicate with myself through writing, not with chatting to myself. I like to chat to myself as well, but I've just come to really enjoy writing. So I'm bringing you a message today. How to receive, not what you, not what you want, but what you need, okay? This is how you receive everything that you need as an individual. Excuse me. You drop everything. You let everything go that is not serving you. For the, t for the time being, you can always go back to it. You drop everything that you don't need for the time being. I'm talking about social media. I'm talking about that nine to five, take a day to yourself. I'm talking about these friends that all they want to do is get inebriated, get drunk, smoke weed, do Percocets, do Xanax, anything that alters their state of mind, that alters their state of consciousness, that, that pretty much saying that they do not want to be in this current moment right here. Don't need that. Okay, I said social media, nine to five, these friends that always want to get inebriated, drugs, all that. Pretty much things that are distracting you from this current moment of being with yourself. See, I'm with myself, but I I'm speaking with myself and this is a reminder to myself, but I'm also reminding you. Let go of these things that do not serve you. And that's when you will receive. That's when you will receive everything that you that you already knew, but you had forgot because of all I was about to, I was looking for my phone and it's right here. Everything that has been programmed through that screen, because these screens are portals, really. They're, they're, these devices, they're portals to other realities. Whether you want to believe that or not, whether you want to be open-minded to that or not, that's that's just the gist of what it is. You, click, you, you, you go on Instagram, you click on somebody's video, and you are instantly transported to the reality. Whether they, they, they fabricated that reality or it's true to their self as much as possible. That is a portal to the reality. But understand that that is taking you outside of yours. So you don't need that. You don't need that. You need to be in tune with yours. Last night I got a download. I was out walking with my dogs and I got a download. I was just thinking like, I, I must have wrote it somewhere. One second. I must have wrote it. No, I don't think I wrote it down. But um, shout out to Vaughn. Shout out to Vaughn to Cut on YouTube. He goes and says, with his spiritual, ex with his psychedelic experience, it took me back to my first, and it just reminded me, like, wow, none of this really matters. None of the stuff that gets gets the 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 the, the primary attention of the ego. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. <laughs> it, it, it just doesn't matter. What matters is right here, right now, and what you're doing in this very moment. Now, if you're not doing none, that's, that's, that's completely fine. Maybe you don't need to be doing something right now. But understand that taking yourself out of this moment, getting inebriated, taking a sip of the potion, burning up, Burning up paper that's got a plant in it doesn't do anything for you. It, it actually alters your state of mind. 
And you don't want to be doing that. Right? It's like, you don't need to be doing that. It's a want, but you have to, you have to distinguish a want and a need. And you need to be, you have to have self-respect for yourself. Because ain't nobody going to take those steps to being the best self that they could be. But you, you don't got nobody but yourself. Understand that. Nobody knows what goes on inside your mind but you. So take care of what, take care of yourself. Start meditating. Meditating is just being in this present moment. Being one with yourself. I don't even really know how to meditate the way that, you know, people will tell you how to meditate, you know, like the, the damn this, what, like, sit by yourself, turn off the phone, turn off your computer, go somewhere quiet, do it when it's quiet, and just watch, you can't really watch, but just take everything in, take everything in. Be one with your ecosystem. We are all connected. You go out into nature and you plant your feet in the grass and you sit there and you just... You just breathe deeply and you let your heart and your body just tune into the frequency of the earth. You connect back to the source. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying this off the dome. These are mental downloads coming to me right now as I speak to y'all. And it sounds like, from the outside looking in, if you really don't understand, it sounds crazy. But that's what it is. It is what it is. Life is not what these people created it to be, this false sense of reality. Going and working for somebody else. Work for yourself. Work for yourself. Ain't nobody said it was going to be easy. But work for yourself. I mean, do what you got to do. So you can build a platform for yourself. A foundation for yourself. So then in tune, you won't have to work for nobody else. Because you will work for yourself. You won't have, you won't need any leaders or anybody leading you. Because you will lead yourself. Right? I just want to fly over my house today, right? Alright, so it's like. What more can I say, y'all? To manifest what you need in this life, to manifest what you need, you have to drop everything that it is that you thought you wanted. That's the best way to explain it. To receive everything that you need, you need to drop everything that you think you wanted. Because that's all it is. You wanted it. And you got it. But what happened when you got it? You got complacent. You got comfortable. And comfortability does nothing for you. Does nothing for you. Okay? I don't say this to say that I have it figured out. Because after this, I could put the phone down and go right back to, to ego tripping. But understand, I'm working at this a day at a time. I just... I just wrote a letter to, to two friends. I wrote a letter to two friends. One will be receiving this. And then another. Will choose to receive it or not. Now it's not up to me. Whether these people choose to read it. And crumble it up and throw it away. Or they use it to their advantage. Because I didn't do it for no reason. You get me? And I state that in these paper, in these passages that I could get this paper ripped up in my face. I could literally see it, see it be thrown away right in my face. Watch the paper get stomped on, spit on, whatever the case may be, just thrown on the floor, disrespected. And that is a reflection of me. That is a reflection of what they think of me. Because I took the time to write that down. Not, not, not caring that 
those outcomes could be possible. I just did because it's what people need to hear. People need a reminder. I, I, I said it right here. Let me, let me read this to you because this is very powerful right here. Okay. I want to say this to my friend. Remember you told me to get into writing because you liked the way that I wrote? That was about five to seven years ago, and it recently dawned on me that I have done that in full capacity, writing song lyrics, information that I've researched, but most importantly, messages to myself. And because of this, the way that I see the relationship between me, myself, and I has changed forever. Thank you for planting the seed. Thank you for planting the seed in my brain. Now allow me to return the favor. Be open-minded when reading. Trust me, trust me, whether we get to communicate or or not through whatever opportunity, I will get a feel for where your mind is. Now, where is it? Oh, it's on this page. So, so I go. Oh, okay, here we go. Live, live for right now. Remember, everything to come is 100% out of your control. You can, you can go to school, get a degree, and remain jobless. That is this reality these people, these people have created for us. Crazy to think I can be writing all this just to have it ripped up in my face or have it be thrown away. But does that stop the pen? Clearly not. So that being said, y'all, give reminders to people out here. But only to those that you know are willing to be open-minded because you cannot save everybody out here. And don't feel bad that you can't save everybody out here because it is not their time. It is just not their time. Assess what you know right now. And if you can't, if you feel like you cannot speak that truth to people out here that you think you care for, it's for a reason. It's for a reason. Okay? It's for a reason. It's all in your mind. It's all in your mind. Take control. T regain control of your mind. And everything else will follow suit. With that being said, this is Jordan. This is the video I wanted to bring to you all today. How to manifest everything that you need. Just let go of things that you thought you wanted. And that, and then, and only then, will you be open to receive. I'm out. Peace be with y'all. Peace and prosperity to you and your loved ones. Until next time.